Hey, my name is Stelux, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download Process Lasso. I'm also going to show you Process Lasso best settings that you can use, and I'm going to do an honest review. All right, so first of all, go to your desktop and then find any browser that, that you have. So all you got to do is write process lasso and now on the top of the page you should see download process lasso bitsum so you want to just click on it and you'll immediately gonna find a blue button right here which it says download process lasso and i'm just gonna click on it i created a dedicated folder for that i recommend that you do as well and just press save now you just want to find it where did you save it and just double tap it now it's gonna ask you to select the language i'm gonna put in english and then press ok you have to agree with all of the terms so press i agree you can select the options that you want to keep these are the default options and i'm gonna keep them because i like them and now if you want you can just change the location where you're gonna store the process lasso file personally i keep everything in my d drive just click on the drive and press ok so after you download it you should see process lasso on your desktop what i really like to do is just put it in the taskbar all right so now what you want to do is go to Epic games and open up fortnite okay now since i have fortnite open now i can just open up process lasso Okay, so now you wanna just scroll a little bit down until you see Fortnite Launcher and beneath that it's Fortnite Client Win64 and you just wanna double tap it. Keep in mind, you might not have the bear logo, you might just have a Fortnite logo. Okay, now go to CPU Priority, go to Always and make sure Windows Dynamic Thread is always on and make sure to put this on high. Now go to Affinity, go on Always and where you see the CPU pins, I, I personally do all of them that should be ticked on some people tick off one of them i can't remember which one but if you want you can ask the comments and uh, for some people unticking one of these i think it's cpu zero helps you get better performance but personally i keep all of these now you want to go down to power profile and there's a lot of power profiles that you can choose for example balance max performance overlay or unlimited performance personally i'm not gonna tweak this because i already use ultimate performance so i'm not gonna press anything but if you don't have any power plants i do recommend either getting the max performance overlay or ultimate performance it just depends on your pc now you want to go down and press exclude from pro balance and now you can go to more and disable ideal server i'm not gonna do it because i like it when for example i'm doing youtube i don't want that my pc would use too much power on fortnite but if you want and if you want more fps and better performance sometimes i do recommend putting this in but i'm personally not going to okay so always don't forget to be running process lasso in the backgrounds otherwise i'm pretty sure it's not gonna work as intended and as you can see i'm in fortnite right now i'm getting semi-stable ping and okay fps not gonna lie this tool works it, it works well a lot of pros have been recommending it uh, like valorant pro 10s and that's how i actually found out about it because i also kind of started playing valorant personally it, it is worth it i know it gives you less delay but there, there are a few good tools that I can use. I just made a video about timer resolution and I think it works a little bit better. So yeah, it, it is a very good tool. You will get some extra FPS, at least you should. But it works differently on all PCs and I have most of the tweaks that Process Lasso already offers. So it's not doing too much for me but for you it could get you up to 30 or even more fps it, it really depends on your pc and how much you tweaked it 